My name is Ryan J. Salva. I am VP of product at GitHub, where I am responsible for GitHub Copilot. We actually embarked on a little journey a few months ago to work with some external companies and do a high quant study with hundreds and hundreds of developers to see what it's actually like, what impact these large language models and Copilot have on engineering teams. And so for that, I want to invite on stage one of our research partners, Dan Shockey from Accenture, to tell a little bit about some of that research. Dan, come on out, buddy. Yeah. Let's hear it. Cool. How you doing, welcome, Ryan? Dan. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. So, all right. I'm not sure that everyone here necessarily knows Accenture. So, can you just like maybe start by telling a little bit about what Accenture does? What's your business? Yeah, sure. At, at Accenture, we help our customers build their digital core, um, transform their operations, and accelerate their growth. Okay. And we do that by bringing together teams from you know across a wide range of capabilities, many locations around the world bring those together to help them serve our clients. Yeah. And as you can imagine, that can be a pretty complex environment um, where we have you know, many developers um, with a bunch of different you know, diverse backgrounds coming together, working in many different technologies at the same time uh, to bring the best solution to our client. I love it. I love it. I kind of like, I kind of think about this as the shock and awe slide, just a bunch <laughs> of numbers with like the sheer massive size of it, right? So Accenture, from an engineering size, like how many engineers do you have worldwide, roughly? So roughly about 125,000 software engineers working for us right now. Holy moly, dude. Yeah. That is like massive. I think that might even be bigger than Microsoft, all said and done. That's big. That's big. Okay. So why were you interested in kind of like pursuing this research with us around get a right. Copilot? So, you know, as a company that invests very heavily in both our people and the technologies that they use to do their, their job, um, we're, ve we're very interested, super excited about the promises of AI-assisted software delivery and really the changes that that's bringing to the way that we all work day to day, yeah. right? So we had uh, a lot of interest just in general in GitHub Copilot as yeah. the, the leading, you know, technology in that set of change. Um, and really what we wanted to do was become uh, what we consider a customer zero, right? Yeah, right? So we like to first enable our own employees, our, our own workforce with the tool, and then we experiment with it at scale, right? Okay. Let them use it, then we learn the best way to do it, the best, you know, how it best is applied in our industry, and then we can take those learnings back to our clients um, that, that we go to and work with every day. And of course, we're also bringing that feedback back to GitHub to make yeah, sure that yeah. we're helping to drive the, the innovation with GitHub Copilot. I, I like to think that we're getting better because of your feedback, so thank you, thank Thanks. you. I will actually say here that that is a, um, maybe a commonality that I've seen among some of the first adopters, that a lot of the, the organizations that adopted Copilot here in these first, what, eight months that it's been available, they've been some of the largest engineering teams on the planet with some of, honestly, some of the, customers that would have been the most cautious or slow moving in the past right. have really jumped on AI. Now, my hypothesis here is that because the productivity gains there actually math out to be a huge amount of, well, additional value delivery, additional cost savings and the like that you get. And so is that kind of the same thing that you see going on at Accenture? Yeah, of course, that's the question on everybody's mind, right? right. How much is this really going to save What's us? What's it going to do? Um, how, how does it impact our delivery? Um, and, you know, we started pretty simply. We just enabled a couple hundred of our internal developers right. and, you know, turned them loose with Copilot, let them use it as part of their daily work. Um, and to be honest, our developers loved it. They came back to us. We had a developer that called us back in about 24 hours after we turned on Copilot for him. And he told <laughs> us that, you know, not only was he using it as part of his day-to-day -day job, but it was saving him about 20% of his time just taking care of all of his unit test cases for him. I, I, I was actually, I, we were talking about this backstage earlier, and so Dan was telling me, like, the developer had, like, a whole bunch of tests that were going to take, like, days to complete, and he completed them that afternoon, right? So exactly. took some time off, got a coffee, you know, maybe browse the web, that kind of thing. <laughs> and, and, you know, we had a few developers that, had, that brought us stories like that, and That's so we awesome. knew that this was going to be a big change to the way we work and really impact the way we deliver software in general. All right, well, let's look at the numbers here and actually see what results we saw out of this, right? Okay, 
So, I mean, first of all, let me give you a little background. Um, yeah. You know, we enabled about 450 of our internal developers with GitHub Copilot. Uh, we didn't change, we didn't give them any specific tasks to work on. We basically just said, continue doing your normal work, um, and, you know, your day-to-day -day job as a developer. And then we, uh, we observed that set of developers and okay. their experiences over the next six months. Uh, at the end of the six months, we compared those 450 developers using Copilot to a similarly sized group of their peers that weren't using Copilot. Right. Control treatment group. Control and treatment group. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, we, you know, we tried to be scientific, but, you know, like you said, there's a lot of factors at play here. Um, but what we found out that overall, uh, the rate at which our developers were accepting suggestions from Copilot was about 35%. By the way, that's actually, that's in keeping with what we see with the population at large. Right. So that's, that's yeah, good. it seems All pretty right. normal. Uh, of those, that code that was accepted by our developers, they retained a little more than 88% of the code that, that Copilot suggested after they did their review. Okay. All right, so that's pretty good. So high retention rate. So Copilot was giving suggestions that survived edits, essentially. Right. I, I mean, yeah. our developers liked the code that they were getting, Love right? Um, we also saw a pretty dramatic increase in the number of builds that our developers were attempting. Um, and overall, not only were we seeing more builds coming from our developers, but about 45% increase in the success rate of those builds. So we were also seeing you know, some increased signs of quality yeah. of that code as our developers were using the tool more. So increased throughput, increased quality. Now that's all around builds. I know you, did, you monitored, we together monitored PRs as well, right? right? So yeah, we also saw an increase in the, number, in the throughput of pull requests that our developers completed over that six months. So when they were using Copilot, they completed about 15% more pull requests. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, that is absolutely it's, it's, crazy. It's amazing. So more throughput for the team, higher quality at large. Let's talk about what I you know, genuinely care about the most, though. I, I'm all for productivity. Developer happiness, right? Developer, how, we develop, developer how do developers happiness. respond to it? Right. So you know, we, of course, had the same question. We gave a survey to all the developers that participated in the study with us. And 100% of those that responded to the survey told us that they found Copilot useful. Hot damn. All yeah, right. we didn't get a single negative comment. Nobody told us it was distracting. They all thought it was useful. That's almost unbelievable, it, I'm going to be honest. It is kind of but, unbelievable, yeah. but get this, 50% of them told us that it was extremely useful all right. in their day-to-day -day job. So that, that I thought that was heart. impressive. That, that, that does. That warms my heart. So now that we're through the research, what, what are you looking forward to next, kind of from this week, right, and from Copilot at large? Well, two things. Number one, of course, we're going to be rolling out Copilot to all of our developers as quickly as we can. And we're super excited about oh, that's that. That's awesome. Yes. So we're going to be much more aggressive about that. And of course, we're excited to continue partnering with uh, GitHub, right? Uh, and offering some co-solutions to our, to our clients yeah. to help accelerate adoption in the market. Um, but, but personally, what I'm excited about, Ryan, I, I'm super excited to see where Copilot goes when we get it out of just the code editor and bring it into the rest of the software delivery lifecycle. I love it. I love it.